let's have an overview about Hierarchy VBN or HVBN. HVBN is a VBN technology applied to hierarchical networks and extends MPLS to access networks. For more explanation, we have this example, which is an example about IPRAN network. IPRAN stands for IP Radio Access Network. Radio Access Network or RAN network has different components and has different service nodes. In the core, the core service port, it has PSC, base station controller, PSC handles the 2G traffic and RNC, RNC handles the 3G traffic and controls the 3G traffic and same for PSC, PSC handles and control 2G traffic, ME and SGW, they handle and control the 4G traffic. For the access port and access service nodes, we have PTS for 2G, node B for 3G, and E node B for 4G. They are located in the access network and they handles the traffic coming from the user. The user or the mobile terminal devices. Mobile terminal devices are associated to each site based on the type of the mobile service 2G, 3G and 4G and even for other services like 5G. So we have the access port and the core port. In order to provide connectivity between the access service nodes and the core service node in the IP RAN network, we provide routers or PE devices, routers in the core and routers to connect the core service nodes like PE1 and PE2. And routers to provide access connectivity for the access service nodes like PE3, PE4 and PE5 and routers between the access and the core PE nodes which are the P devices or the core routers P1 and P2. They are called aggregation aggregation routers and this is the aggregation ring in the aggregation ring PE1 PE2 are connected to the core routers P1 and P2 this is the aggregation ring and the core routers P1 and P2 connect the PE devices in the access in the access ring. So for now the IP RAN network has different levels. The first level is the aggregation ring and the second level is the access ring. With HVBN approach or HVBN device model we can extend the MPLS functionality to the access ring. We can run MPLS in the aggregation ring and MPLS in the access ring. As we mentioned in the slide, MPLS can be extended to the access networks or the access rings with HVBN. HVBN means we have different levels of VBN. The first level as we mentioned for the aggregation ring and the second level is the access ring. And in this example we don't have flat network. There is no flat network. There should be separation between rings. 
aggregation ring is separated from the access ring. Each ring has its own routing table. The different rings cannot exchange routes directly. Just P1 device and P2 device, the core devices, can see all the PE nodes because P1 and P2 are connected in the aggregation ring but PE3, PE4, PE5 cannot see any information about PE1 and PE2 like MPLS LSR ID and the interconnect links they don't have information about the interconnect ring this is to minimize the routing table size on the access routers in order to be able to integrate PE devices with less capability with less scalability because they are located in the access ring and therefore we can introduce a cost-effective solution we cannot have all PEs on the same level of scalability the PEs of the access ring can be located near the access and near the access radio network and they are with less scalability and as we mentioned we can provide and introduce routing isolation aggregation ring in an IGB domain and access ring in another IGB domain device rule in IPRAN network versus fixed network in fixed network we have enterprise solutions and enterprise customers the customers are fixed fixed in locations but for IPRAN network we have a mobile network the customers are mobile devices the mobile devices are moving from one location to another location this is why the IPRA network is not a fixed network it's for radio access network to provide access connectivity to the radio services like 2G, 3G, 4G and 5G services as explained in the last example we have aggregation ring and access ring in each ring we have rules for each router device or each node device we have cell side gateway or CSG this is called in the IPRI network versus user end or under layer PE which is UPE this type of device can be ATN Huawei ATN device and we call it as cell side gateway the cell side gateway is the ATN node which is a router node located on the access ring to connect the access service nodes aggregation side gateway or ASG this is in the IPRA network and in the fixed network we have another term which is service or superstratum PE or SPE this is can be NE40E or CX600 this is Huawei platform this is another Huawei platform different from the ATN it has more scalability it has more capabilities to handle all the access rings that will be connected to the aggregation devices therefore we use here NE40E and CX600 as a P devices which are the devices that connect the aggregation ring to the access ring radio service gateway or RSG this is the node that will connect the core service nodes PSC, RNC, MME, SGW this is in the IPRAN network in the fixed network we call the nodes that are located in the core as network PE or NPE and they can NE40E or CX600 
back to the IPRN network example here we can see PE3, PE4 and PE5 they are all called CSG or cell side gateway this is the node that it's connected to the access service node it gives and provide service connectivity to the access service nodes this is the node that it's CSG or cell side gateway and the next level of routers is the P devices which are called ASG aggregation site gateway and the next level of nodes is the node that gives service connectivity to the core radio service nodes this node is called RSG radio service gateway